gonna be here. They're gonna be here. So, amen. Welcome to the video. If you like these videos, give it a thumbs up. I've got a stack of these footages. So anyway, we are here riding along, and we are going up Norton Summit. So just letting you know, this is May. This is May. It's a sunny day here in Australia. This is the winter sun, and we're about to turn left up Norton Summit. I've got the guys about to come behind me, come around, and this is the start of Norton Summit here. Very popular climb in Australia. Probably one of the most popular climbs in Australia. It's more of a power climb. It's not really a climber's climb, but it's a climb where it's really good to learn bunch positioning because this guy's got a flat or something, but it's a, it's a climb where you've got to learn bunch positioning because it is quite a fast climb, and on fast climbs, if you don't uh, react at the right time, then you're going to get popped. So the guys are just behind me, and uh, about to come around in a second. That's really important is to like have that bunch positioning on fast climbs. Otherwise, you're going you're to waste a lot of energy. So what we're going to do... I'm gonna get, drop right to the back, right to the back, last wheel, which is the worst place to be. It's the worst place to be because when a breakaway happens, you gotta go around the entire group to get on. All right, so I'm gonna go dead last, dead last wheel. Is there any more guys coming behind me? I think this is it, all right? So I'm the last rider, look over my shoulder, and I'm gonna jump on the back. So I'm dead last. That's the first mistake you know, pros don't do, is you never stay dead last on a fast climb because if there is a breakaway, if there's like a lull in speed and the breakaway goes because the power goes down and you're at the back and then you've got to bridge this massive gap, you know what I mean? So we've got like 20 metres to the, to the front of this bunch almost. So that's, that's, that's pro mistake number one is don't sit at the back on fast climbs because as soon as an attack goes, you won't be able to really gap it. Otherwise, if you do, you'll burn a lot of energy. You'll, burn, you'll produce a lot of lactate because uh, your power spike will be larger than the people at the front who can react straight away. So you want to be at the front, you want to be sort of top five on a fast climb. Top five is where you want to be. Uh, especially Unless it's like your team's on the front and they're going to ride at a certain wattage and you can just sit at the back, yeah. But if, if you're in a race where there's going to be attacks happening and you have to go with the wheel, then you want to be up the front, you know, top five. Top. F uh, oh my God, I just hit my shin. Oh, fuck, hit the shin on the bend. You ever done that? Fuck, that hurt. Oh my God. Jesus, so I'm getting, I'm on, the, I'm on the back here. Oh man, that hurt the shin. It's like Muay Thai training. Fuck. I gotta get, I gotta get tougher, don't I? Oh man. Anyway, so the the pace is pretty steady. We're doing probably about uh, 320 watts. So it's pretty, it's pretty, uh, it's fast, but it's not that fast as it can be, as it, as it will be later on, I'm sure, because you can tell when a bunch is going really fast is the front, it'll just be one line. It'll be one line because guys don't want to, you know, just be doing two, two, two abreast. So we're doing one line. It'll be like a real race pace, and you can see it's now it's starting to split up a little bit, isn't it? We're overpassing, overtaking some other riders. Oh, there's a rider behind me. There was a rider, but one more rider behind me. So we'll get back on. And another pro mistake is, what am I doing? Like, oh, I wasn't at the back. Okay, I'm not sure what's going on. So now I'm talking to someone else. So I'm not at the back even, but I've let the gap go. I've let the gap go, you know, that's that's another big mistake. What's this triathlete doing, grinding along? So look, there's a big gap there. You know, there's a big gap, that's, that's pro mistake number two. Don't let gaps open up, get on the gap straight away. So I'm just like lagging out there, because when if you let the gap open up, then you've got to chase it back down. So you never let a gap open up, close it straight away. Close the door, close the door as they say. Close that door straight away. So that's, now I'm back on. That's wasted energy, isn't it? I should have just closed it straight away. If you let a gap open, then you have to spike your power to close it. And every time you spike your power, you're producing more lactate. And every time you're producing higher levels of lactate, you're producing more hydrogen ions, and that's what shuts your muscles down from really performing well, it's the hydrogen ions. So you want to close the gap, you want to hold the wheel, we want to be at the front. And we have a rider here. Uh, and you always want to be paying attention as well. So your two riders jumping out the back door, they're getting dropped. Potentially, maybe let's see what happens. So, this is pro mistake number three. Don't let people get in front of you because now I'm opening up another gap. I'm slowing down, and that you know, what I mean, this rider may or may not get dropped. You know, he may or may not get dropped. So, what I'm doing now is I'm just being courteous, which is fine on this ride. You know, it's just a bunch of ride, but in a race, you don't want to do that because 
you could drop yourself from being courteous, you know. But on a, on a ride like this, I'm I'm fine to do that uh, because you know I'm a pretty fast climber and I can sort of you know do things like that. But if you're in a race situation, then being courteous won't be to your de- uh, benefit. I'm just going to change this little font here. So that rider there was good. He pointed out a stick. So you can see different pedaling styles in this climb as well. You can see the riders are grinding, or you can see riders spinning. And you, you, we, we do know that pro, pro tip number four is you've got to spin to win. You, can, you can't grind these days unless you can, you can only get away with grinding if you're riding with people you're a lot fitter than and you're just doing it for some reason. But if you, if you really want to be competitive, you have to, have to spin. Uh, if, you got, if you're riding with people with similar fitness level, you have to spin, otherwise you're going you're gonna to get dropped off the back. Gonna get dropped off the back, so we're just cruising up the Nortons here, and uh, we're about to. I think the pace normally lights up around this hairpin, but it always varies week to week, depends on how frisky the lads feel. And we're just gonna cruise on up, cruise on up, and again, this is the pace is starting to heat up a little bit. You can see this, the single file, the the structure of the group is breaking up. It is starting to get a bit disorganised, which is totally fine and normal. When, once the intensity goes up. So we're, we're going past some riders here. We, we're flying up this climb. These boys are fit. And you can sort of see the pace. The, as the bunch gets skinnier, the pace is going up. So now you can see in the front. Now it's stringing out. Now this is pro mistake number one. Again, I'm, I'm at the back. I'm at the back. And this is really bad because if this if uh, peloton, if this bunch splits in the middle, then I've got to go, go around everybody to get back up the front. So this is a big mistake as well. This is a big mistake because we're being dead last wheel. You want to be up that top five group. So have a look how long this group is now. So look at that. This guy's already hitting that apex of that corner there. And I'm way back. And look, there's a gap there. So there's gaps opening up. So I'm way back. This is a really, really uh, amateur move by me. I did it to show the, just for the camera, you know. I, I never make mistakes, man. I'm, I'm the best. So anyway, so now, now you can see the acceleration's going. Riders out the saddle. That's a good indication that the acceleration's happening. Is riders are starting to get out the saddle to put down more power. You see riders are spinning a high cadence bit trying to, and more power. So now I've got to go, look at that gap. And now I've got to close this gap. This is extra work. Now the pace has really gone on. So my watts is probably 700 watts just to close the gap, you know. But if I was at the front, I wouldn't have to do that. So that's where I waste energy. That's where an energy waste right there. So I'm going around. The guys behind me got dropped off. And now I'm back on this group. And they'll probably do another split soon. But you can sort of see that's a waste of energy. Now I'm having to catch my breath. And, and sort of do this stuff. So that's a big mistake as well. We just pre tip number one is at the too far at the back. Too far at the back. And, and then it's right here. See that gap is opening up the wheel a bit? There we go. So that's another one. I should close that gap straight away. And you do it, you know, courteously, you don't do it aggressively. So there's a gap opening up. I'm letting that, that that's too big of a gap. You should always close that gap straight away. And maybe I said something to the, to the lad and he closed it, I'm not sure. Oh you can maybe say so hold the wheel. Hold the wheel, sir. <laughs> in racing, you get, get if you open up a gap like that in racing, they, they, they just generally get sworn at. It's, it's like, hold the wheel, cunt! Hold the fucking wheel! But in a bunch ride, right, it's just it's all good. Just that, having training. So now the pace has slowed down a bit. You can see it's two abreast again. It's two abreast again, but which means the friskier riders will gonna go. And this guy, I think he's gonna, he's had enough. He's he's had enough of that that pace, and he's gonna roll off. And when I see another gap, ooh, looks like an attack there. But again, I'm behind other riders. I'm not. I should be up the front. I should have moved right up the front. But that's all right. This is this is so you guys can learn. This is so you guys can learn. Uh, he's still there. He's doing well. He's doing well. So that's another thing. Is like these, you know, these guys really push themselves hard. And that, that's why Adelaide is such a good place because you have people who push themselves so hard on the climbs here. It's really awesome, and that's the best way to get super fast. Is just ride with people who are going to push themselves like these guys are. And look, there's an attack. Oh, he's looking back. He's gone to what? Jersey got there. So now it's single. And now it's going fast again. Now it's going fast again. Look, there's an attack. Yep, there's an attack. Here we go. Look at that. It's split. And I'm at the back here. I'm at the back. Look at that. Look at that. Big gaps open right up. It's broken right apart. Riders getting shelled out the back. I've, I've let the gap open up again. And I'm going to have to close again. Another 700 watt acceleration. Maybe 800 watts. Now get so it's probably 800 watts. If I have to get out of it's probably about 800 to close that gap again. But I'm, you know, and then I go go have some more and more riders. Can you see the mistake I've made here? Can you see how silly that was? Again, it should have been up the front, top five, top five on the climb, always top five on the fast climb. 
but you know that was the that's can you imagine being the pro peloton fighting for position it's hardcore man it's hardcore it's crazy it's crazy so you can see i've wasted a lot of energy doing that and this is the energy's going to bite me in the bum later on it's going to bite me in the bum later on so now we're how many riders got left this is now now the pace is on now the pace is on now the pace is on how many riders we got left we got uh it's hard to see so this is a good draft we're seeing only got one two three there's four of us there's four of us left now so but you can see that i'm letting a i'm letting the rider take another turn there because i'm i'm, a, I'm pretty cooked from <laughs> trying to hold these guys wheel trying to accelerate back up to them you know so that that's where i'm dead weight for the group because I'm not pulling a turn now because I'm gassed from being in the back of the bunch. You know, th this is where positioning can help your teammates or help your position in the race and help you can contribute to the group work. Now, I'm, if I pull a turn, I'm pulling it right off the back because I'm just pretty cooked from that acceleration. Because we're now we're doing about 400 watts. Probably doing about 400 watts now, this last bit, just to hold the gap open. Cruise along this sunny day, beautiful Adelaide's fantastic. The roads aren't as smooth as Thailand, but the riders are very high quality in Adelaide. It's, it's, Adelaide's got the fittest riders in the world that I know of. I've never been to a place that's got faster riders than Adelaide. And that's why Adelaide produces more world-class riders than anywhere in the world. So Adelaide is definitely a ticket. If you're interested in being a, uh, a pro-level rider and you live in Australia, then Adelaide's a the place you want to move to. Definitely, 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 definitely. Because you've got so many uh, fast riders. Watch out for the wheelbarrow. And now the gap opening up again. But you can see I'm not really reacting that much to it because... I know these two riders in front will close it down because they're very, very fast guys. All these guys here are sub-13 minute uh, Norton Summit riders. So I know, I know these guys as well. So that, that sort of helps to know um, what wheel to, to hold because you know that they're going to be able to put the performance in. Now I'm going to go around and there's like, a, what's this, a traffic light or something like that? I'm not sure what's going on. People are stopping. We're not stopping. <laughs> We're not stopping for no red lights. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> This time, this is Norton Summit TT. This is Strava. This is Strava. That's crazy. That, those people could be waiting at the red light for eons. They could be waiting, waiting there for eons. So now it's two of us. There's maybe three of us left. I'm not sure. But this is a young rider. He's, I think he's about 19. Very fast. He's got pro level potential for sure. He can ride the bunch. He can ride downhill. That's another secret. Is you've got to be really good at like 18 or 19 in the bunch. If you're not, then chances of being a pro is really really slim but you got to be like you know you got to be madman in the bunch pretty much here we go so uh, it's just the three of us left now and uh so watch watch how smooth this guy is it's straight into the draft you know these, these young guys they learn so quick he's just straight onto the wheel you know it's just it's just like magnetized to that wheel just straight into the wheel no lag if you let any gap open up it's just extra work you have to close that on that's why when people attack they attack really hard to open up a gap so it's just really good drafting here really good technique back into the sun it's probably about 8 30 in the morning if the sun's that high on launch someone that last corner this is called a uh, pretty lookout oh, oh it's yawning my videos don't i need to take more cocaine oh but uh i need some water actually I need some water and sugar right now this is a nice morning here for the riding is a beautiful sunday saturday routine at uh, eight o'clock at Rundle street meet up and it is quite an experienced bunch, so if you are a noob, it's probably best not to come along. Maybe do the Norton Summit segment to, to learn the bunch. And that's another thing, is, is climbing in bunches up hills is a good way to learn the bunch dynamics. Because if you have a crash on the flat, you're fucked. But if you crash up a hill, at least you're right. So it's, climbing with fast riders is a good way to learn bunch dynamics. And these, we're really hammering it now. We're really hammering it now. These are sub-13 minute Norton Summit riders. So this is, these guys are like the, the best of the best in South Australia that aren't pro yet you know these guys really know to fucking hammer it they're lightweight they're young they're full of beans full of beans and there is yeah, i'm just gonna sit on there my legs are pretty cooked with these these frisky young lads and you can see that again just right in front of the black and the orange shoes holds the wheel again perfect just really good really smooth riding really smooth riding and uh, we're gonna now it flattens out about Norton Summit. This is the part. This is the part where you really want to get the draft. This is where you really want to be in the wheel because the speed's going over 35k an hour. Once you're going over 25k an hour, draft's really important. The draft's really important. And it's the flat 
flat spot here. Here we go. Just as a this is on the left is the rock climbing section. So this is this is oh, where well, I've done good here, but I'm starting to look at that little gap. That gap's opening up. This is where I'm paying for those accelerations previously, where I'm letting I'm riding silly. I'm letting the gaps open up. I'm having to go around riders. This is where I just, now I'm not holding the wheel. This is the last. This is the last twenty. Now I just give up. You can see that when that gap opened right up, I just gave up, and I'm like, oh fuck it, go again. But it's too late. You know, I'm just letting these guys get away from me too much. So, and I'm just. You can see when that gap opened that quick that I just mentally, just emotional decisions like, oh, I can't be fucked, I'm in too much pain, blah, blah, blah. And you can sort of see we're still cruising along. So those guys that open up that gap, I mean, that's really good. That's a really good gap. That's like Mikael Lander style. And then I'm, then I'm picking it up again. I'm like, oh, fuck it, I'll just go again. I'll just go again. So you can sort of see. Boom. Where are they? The fuck, God, Timmy's he's out of these guys. So that's how you climb like a pro, hold the wheel, be out the front, top five, don't let the gaps open up, know what riders to follow. You don't need to look at your wattages, just you gotta follow the wheels pretty much, you know. You only need to look at your wattages if you're gonna attack them. Otherwise, just hold the wheel, you know, stay relaxed, stay breathing, cadence around 90, pay attention, lots up in front, and react very quickly, don't, let, don't hesitate. Just get straight on that wheel when the big gap opens up in that fast climb. Otherwise, you're going to be paying for it later on if you have to try and close the wheels, close the gaps. One more videos like this, give it a thumbs up, like, share, don't subscribe, and we'll see you on the climbs.